Hi, and welcome to the segment on bolt hole circle, also known as pitch circle diameter. What I have here is our DroPros X3 mil coupled to the ESON ES10 3M5 digital readout. Now the bolt hole feature allows us to drill a series of bolt holes, whatever number that we need, in a circle around a central point. The bolt hole function is over on the bottom right hand side and it's a circle with the five points on it. Okay, now to illustrate the bolt hole circle concept, let's take a look at our Sieg X3 mill. The first thing that we're going to do is on our display we want to zero out all three axes. So we've done that and you can see that on our workpiece here that our drill is for the most part centered on the workpiece and for our purposes today that's good enough. So let's go ahead and push the bolt hole circle function key and you can see here that it's asking us for the to input the center position. Now we're not going to offset the center we are basically from our workpiece here we're going to start the bolt hole circle right there at the center. So the center is set. Let's push the down arrow key and it's asking us for the diameter of the circle. Today we're going to use two inches. If we wanted something different we'd simply enter the diameter of the circle followed by the enter key and it would take that as the diameter of the circle. So let's continue on. The number of holes that we're going to do is five so let's go ahead and enter 5, enter, and then we push the down arrow key. Now the start angle that we're going to use for this illustration is 0, and that start angle is reference to the longitudinal or the x-axis of our mill. So 0 is a good start angle. We arrow down, and we're going to input 0 as an end angle. And now it gives us our holes. So we can see that we're, we need to, basically we need to zero out the display on the X and the Y axis to move to the first hole. So to go to hole one, let's go ahead and move our X axis. And we simply rotate the hand wheel until the X axis indicates zero. And I've overshot a little bit and I'll bring it right back. There we go and that is hole number one. So let's go ahead and mark that. I'll mark that as hole number one. Now we tab down or arrow down to hole number two and we can see again that we have a display in here an X and Y coordinates so we need to again move the the table with the hand wheels so that it zeroes out the X and the Y axis. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so at this point I've moved the table with the hand wheels so that I've zeroed out the X and the Y axis display. So at this point we are over hole number two. Let's go ahead and mark that on our workpiece. Okay, that's approximately hole number two. Let's go ahead and arrow down for hole number three. Again, we come up with a display of coordinates for that hole. Let's go ahead and move the table so that it zeroes those out. Also move my y-axis a little bit. Okay, so now we are right over hole number three. Let's go ahead and mark that on our workpiece. That's approximately hole number three. We'll arrow down hole number four. We can see that the x-axis remains the same. All we need to do is simply move the y-axis. Okay, so that pretty much centers out for hole number four. Let's go ahead and mark that on our workpiece. And lastly, for hole number five, we just simply tab down again. And if we ever need to go back to any of the other holes, we simply can tab through or arrow up and down through our display and find the other holes or go back to them if we had to return. 
But let's go ahead and go to hole number five and let's go ahead and zero out the table. Okay, now we've zeroed out the display for hole number five. Let's go ahead and mark that on our workpiece. Okay, so that almost finishes it for bolt hole circle. Now, if for any reason that we need to go back to an absolute coordinate system, one of the shortcuts here is simply to press the zero key, and you can see that our upper window has changed slightly. Instead of saying absolute or ABS, we get a coordinate XYZ, or a display rather, of XYZ dash ABS. So, we have our absolute coordinate system always in the digital readout. It's just that we can go back and forth between absolute and the bold hole circle by simply pressing the zero key. So let's, we never, in the very beginning when we started this, we never marked our zero coordinate or our bold hole circle center. So we could do that by pressing the zero key and then simply zeroing out both the X and the Y axis. So let's go ahead and do that on our machine. Okay, so now we have gone to the absolute coordinate system. We zeroed out the display. Let's go ahead and go back to the pitch circle diameter or bolt hole circle function and by pressing the zero key. And you can see again, we're back to hole five. And of course, hole five on our workpiece is right over here. So obviously we're offset from that. So that pretty much concludes a bolt hole circle function to get out of that, now we simply push the bolt hole circle symbol and we're back to the absolute coordinate system. Well, that concludes the section on the bolt hole circle. I've shown you how to do it. It's easy to do, and now you can do it too.